Plus, my feelings remain the same about snails. I've never chitted a potato long enough for it to actually get leaves. That's what snails need to do, they need to watch their backs. Because I don't want to mess around with like poison, you know? <laughs> everyone welcome back to my allotment diaries my name is Emma these are my allotment diaries I'd love for you to hit the subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed to my YouTube channel I just vlog all about my allotment plot um, here in South London I'm actually on the allotment site right now as we speak and oh my goodness can you see the Sun on my face we've actually got Sun today I can't believe it I'm so happy that I came because I was in two minds after yesterday yesterday it was a bit colder than I thought it was going to be. They said 11 degrees, it felt more like 3 degrees to be honest. But I soldiered through but I'm really glad I came today because it feels so much warmer. It feels like spring today and I just, I just love it. Oh no! <laughs> I've still got my trainers on because I haven't got any new wellies yet um, and it's not ideal. The lack of wellies is a serious, serious situation now. <laughs> I will have to get some more soon but until then I just have to sort of dodge the muddiest patches but look already all I've done is walk to my plot terrible a good pair of wellies is so essential for an allotment plot otherwise you're just going to get covered in mud not that I don't anyway even with melly wellies mellies wellies oh my goodness right here we are on the allotment plot we emerge through this little corridor into my double double plot amazing Einstein always waits for me so I can see him he, I think he can hear me chatting away to you guys and he waits for me through the archway here we go Gosh, guys, I cannot get over how lovely the weather is today, and we've got such an exciting job as well. Because I'm going to so I'm going to plant out my early potatoes. Um, I actually can't remember what they are. I think they're rocket rocket potatoes, and um, they've been chitting for absolutely ages. Probably the longest I've ever chitted them, about three and a half weeks, and they are so ready to go out. They're actually growing leaves. So that's what we're going to do today. But I'm just going to go around, make sure that everything else is okay. I think it was quite windy yesterday. Um, so there's a few things that just need fixing. Oh, I think they're all alive. I can't believe it. They're all alive. This area here, this structure, whatever this is supposed to be, I think it's a raspberry structure, this needs to be fixed at some point, um, quite urgently now, because the raspberries are starting to grow and I don't want them to spread and cause me a problem. I want them to spread over some kind of structure here. So that's something I need to sort out. But not today, not today. Today is all about planting out our early potatoes. So let's get on with that job, I think. So like I said, they've been chitting for about three and a half weeks. It's the longest I've ever left them to chit before in my life, um, which is just because the weather's been so bad that I just put off the job of putting them out. Otherwise, I'd probably put them out a bit earlier, to be honest, because I'm a rebel. Um, chitting just means that you leave them on a sunny windowsill out of direct sunlight until they form little chits like that, little things coming out. But you can see that a lot of it's gone green now, so it's like new shoots coming off of it. Also, like for instance, this one here, this has actually got a leaf. I've never chitted a potato long enough for it to actually get leaves, which is amazing. But you see how it's got like more than one chit on it. So I'll probably just take that one off and take that one off and leave that one on because that's the one that's got the leaves and seems to be growing the best. Um, I don't always do that, but like I, if, if they're like coming out the bottom and everything, then I'll tend to just brush them off until I've got a good, a good chit going on. Um, but yeah, that's what we're going to whack out today, so it's very exciting. I've actually got hundreds here. I might have to do two beds, but we'll see. Let's go prepare the beds first. it a 
little bit of a dig over um, just, to, just to see what the quality of the soil is and actually it's very good it's very nice soil I actually left the because I had brassicas in here last year and I actually left the stems and the roots of the brassica in like all winter I've literally just pulled them out because they're like nothingness now but that's supposed to add a lot of goodness to the soil so I did that I don't know if it made a difference but the quality of the soil is pretty good in here it is a bed I sort of actively grow in every year so I have been sort of topping it up and everything but you can see good soil just means that you squeeze it together and then it kind of breaks up fairly easily also there's loads of worms loads of worms in here worms are a good sign in any soil i think and also weeds as well because if weeds can grow then other things can grow so yeah i think it's good right let's get those potatoes in So, just stopping for a second to show you what I've done. What we've done essentially is made three trenches in the ground. We've got one there, one there, one there. They've each got their own sort of mound of earth piled up next to it. Oh yeah, I wonder if that's coming up on camera well enough, but you can see the three trenches. The reason I'm doing it in trenches is because I'm gonna earth them up. Earth them up means it's very simple. I used to think this was complicated when I first started gardening and I used to be really scared of growing potatoes because obviously if the potato reaches the sunlight and the sunlight hits the potato it goes green and a green potato is poisonous you can't eat that so what we do is we plant them into trenches and then when we start to see the foliage so the leaves growing up we just cover it back over again with some soil and then it grows up again and you can cover it over again and you can do it a couple of times or three times um, every time you see the foliage come through and eventually when the foliage starts to die back and go yellow, that's usually time to dig them all up. And then your potatoes stay nice and hidden in the dark um, because they need to be nice and deep under the ground so they don't hit the sun. That's it, that's all there is to it. And this is sort of a tried and tested method um, that's just really easy to keep them under the ground. There is a no dig way of doing it and that's just placing them on the top and then cover them with I think straw or hay, but I've never done that. And I don't intend to because I don't want to mess around with like poison, you know. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. Too, I'm not enough of an expert to trust myself doing a no dig potato method yet. Maybe one day, but not today. So we plant our potatoes chips up because that's where the foliage grows. So put them in. Chips up, guys. Chips up. Right, so this is the sort of spacing we've got on them. It's about a foot, they're about a foot apart. I think it's probably slightly too many, particularly in the first row, but I've got too many potatoes, so. <laughs> I think early potatoes are quite a small potato anyway. What we're gonna do now is just lightly cover them. So we're not gonna cover them with all of the soil, just about half the soil is gonna go over the top. something's got trapped in my watering can. I'm pretty sure it's a snail. Is it a snail? Are you a snail? Why do they go in the watering can of all the places they could go? It's so unsafe. Snails really need to like think, watch their backs really. That's what snails need to do. They need to watch their backs. They need public snail announcements. 
you know, like don't crawl into a watering can. Right, they're in. The early potatoes are in. Yes, it's too early. You're right, it is. It should really be sort of towards the end of March, beginning of April that these go in. But you know what, this year, I'm just breaking all the rules. I've decided to be super rebellious this year and just whack everything in. Whenever I feel like whacking it in, I'm gonna whack it in and that's it. So there's the potatoes. I've actually got quite a few early potatoes left. Seems such a shame to just not plant them. I was thinking maybe I could just whack them into this bed, but I'm worried I'm gonna run out of potato beds. Mm, should I just whack them in? Immediately, just changed my mind immediately, immediately. I think I'm going to wait and make sure the frost has passed and then put more out later on so I can keep them as like contingency potatoes. That's a good idea, let's save them. I'm just going to quickly whack in some borage. Um, this is a very, very good flower to grow, but when you plant it at once, like you don't ever have to plant it again because it sort of self seeds. It's a little bit, uh, what's the word? Um, not like a weed, but invasive. I think that's what it's called. It just spreads itself around, but it's very good for bees and it lasts a long time and you can actually eat the flowers. So I'm all for borage. I love it coming up. I'm going to put some around my wildlife area. Um, and just whack it in. Um, I think the bees will love it and I think it'll add really nice little colour and flowers so let's do that. So we did sort of plant some wild flower seeds here but I'm sort of living under the illusion that Einstein's eating them all um, and I think that's just, I mean if, if any grow that'd be great but I'm gonna assume he's eating them all. I've got no faith in you little birdie, no faith in you not to eat my stuff. Yeah, it's just a leaf, but I'm still not going to take back what I said about snails. I, my feelings remain the same about snails. <sighs> right, there we go guys, potatoes in the ground. Very nice springy day, it's very warm today. There's a lot of people arriving now, which is very exciting because it means we're on to spring, on to the next bit of uh, our gardening year, which is very cool. Let me know if you get your early potatoes in or if you're doing it this weekend, and I will see you again in my next vlog, which hopefully will be on Friday. See you Friday, guys. Happy gardening. Bye.